Hey, hey, future social media manager. I wanted to go through and talk about three really, really big components of my presence on social media and just talk you through these next larger components with a checklist. So we're going to be talking through email, LinkedIn, and blog posting today. And there's a fair amount in it. So I've got a whole document for you to see the protocol. So the first thing that you're going to do when you are creating um, all three of these things is I like to start with the email. I feel like it's the easiest thing to start with. And for the email, what you'll do is you'll see on um, the list under the date that they'll say email, LinkedIn, blog, Canva. Underneath that, there'll be the post and then there's gonna be the reel. All for the same date. I can keep the dates on there, but it might just be all underneath 713 or whatever the date is before the large horizontal line. So within that, there is a very long email. You'll notice at the beginning, there are two italicized comments. The first italicized comment is the subject line. The next one is the caption and the rest of the unitalicized um, writing until this solid line is the email. So to get to my email, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Flowdesk. Now let's go back to the beginning here. And typically when I open up Flowdesk, it'll say, um, it'll come to this page where it says emails. If not, you might have to like go to a different um, tab, but it's usually under emails. And I like to have these side by side. So what I'll do is I will take the last week's email, click here, click duplicate, and it'll look like this. If it's not able to duplicate, it'll just say view results or something like that here. And so what you wanna do is you wanna click edit here. And, and if it's you click edit, then you can edit it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the training document. I like to scroll up, feel free to do it any way you want until you hit the unitalicized writing. And what I like to do is I like to bold stuff within here. I'll try and bold it over here so you don't have to like do this twice. Um, let me see if I can just like be like, this is what um, was gonna be said. So you'll post it over here. I'll make sure it's bolded over here. And then you'll look through the email and at the bottom, you'll see like, can have questions send them my way. Sometimes it'll say something like, um, be sure to share and save this with your fellow business owner. If that's on the email, just disregard that. That's going to be for the blog post. So you'll have that and that's the body of the email. Then there's going to be an area where there's a testimonial and we wanna change it to the most recent testimonial. So I did this email today. So you'll have to go to, and you'll see it on the result share, whatever the last, um, whatever the last one was, it was Grace. I just copied and pasted that Canva document here. The way that you'll do that is you'll click on whoever the most recent one, you'll click upload image. It'll probably be in the recents or you can always look it up and then you'll upload that here. There'll be a different name here. So make sure that you change it. So if it's like Eric, you'll do change it to Grace. And then you'll think about what her post is about and just write a quick little tagline. So hers was like creating fulfilling life to creating a coaching business. I will probably be the only person who changes the consult sign up, changes this kind of stuff. So you don't need to worry about that. And the Instagram shows up automatically. So that's it for the email. It's not it. It's close to being in. The email will always be coming from Megan Wing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back up onto the training document and you're going to go over to like selling isn't about convincing, it's about clarity. And you'll click, copy the subject line. You'll paste it over here. And then the preview text, you'll type, type over here. I'll make sure that it's 90 characters or below. If it isn't, just make something that makes sense. Then you'll hit continue. All subscribers. Can, and we do not want to do that. So we're not going to do that today because I already sent this today. So 
you'll typically send it to all subscribers. You can also schedule it. So you can, I'm pretty sure, make sure it doesn't send twice today. Okay, so you will see now or later, you can always schedule it to Thursday morning. And when you click on Thursday, you can do time. And I like to do the best time for morning. And then you'll hit save and then that'll be great. So that is how you do the email portion of the lovely protocol. So once you've got the email done, then you'll send that. Oh, and the last part that I want to show you with the email, when you go back, you'll have to find the reel that was in here. So, and that's this part. So it says, download the first Canva picture, change the name of the wording. And then we're, you'll have to go do this on your computer, click the three dots next to the reel of the person that I just did the testimonial for, click copy link, go back over to this bad boy. And this whole um, block will go to the link for Grace. So just a heads up. So that's the last piece about email. And yeah, I think I covered all that. Great. So then after the email, then you're going to, have to do the blog. This one's the lengthiest, but it's easiest to do it second because you're already going to see the post there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way back and exit. And you'll probably have to log into Squarespace. And when you log into Squarespace, it'll look, you'll have to click on website and then you'll click on pages. You'll click on the blog. This is step four. And then you'll find a new, um, click the plus button or I haven't done the blog post for yet. So you'll click the plus button. The plus button would look like this and you would see the title, the text there, and it's going to be a little tight. So you're going to have to move some things down for that. But I'm going to show you with the one that I just did. So the same one, selling isn't about convincing. This is the exact same post slash webinar. It's all the same pretty much content. It's just in different formats for different sites. So you'll click on here. The new blog post, yours will be new. I already did it, so you won't need to do that. Then you'll click on the post and it'll just say heading. So what you'll do is you'll copy and paste. The selling isn't about convincing, it's about clarity or whatever the subject line of the email was. And that's gonna become the title. Then you're going to have to go back into Canva and you're gonna upload, instead of just the testimonial picture, you'll upload the first picture, just one, the first picture of the Canva onto your computer. You will then upload that first picture onto here. And then it'll say, would you like to add a um, caption? And you can, the caption will be below. And then what you wanna do, you wanna describe um, the image. So it'll say um, image text. So you can say like, um, guide to selling with clarity and that's all you need to do and like just have that there I'll add that then you're going to go down after the caption of the photo and you're gonna copy and paste that same caption into the website so that is what I did here bolding the exact same things that were on the email. And then I did include that save and share with your fellow business owner because the goal of the blog is to get more people to share it, the more people share it, the more people view it. So we want to get people to the blog and then have questions, drop it below. Then you'll click save and then that will be done. And you're going to hit exit. So this whole piece of the protocol, after you publish it, then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to all the blog posts. Hopefully there will be a lot of blog posts. You're probably going to be like posting a lot of old stuff I have just so I can have like a ton of blogs so that I can hopefully get some more media features. Um, but then you're going to click settings where it says content. There's usually like an image of like a waterfall or something. You're going to remove that, replace it with the Canva. Then you're going to take the subject. The excerpt is a subject line. 
blog post URL, you're going to change to something that makes sense, usually around three words or so. And that is it. For the options, you're going to click, obviously it's going to be published at that point. For tags, you're going to choose three related topics. So I said sales, consult calls, sales calls. And these are what we have as keywords. And this will make the um, blog post. If anyone's Googling sales, consult calls, sales calls, or even like solopreneur, if you add that, anyone who's Googling anything about sales for solopreneurs, they might stumble upon this um, blog. So that would be great. And then the categories, there are all the different categories here. If you look back and you can see the, this is the, um, for week one, the topic was sales. So you're going to put sales here and you'll go to back and then you want to enable comments. Go back, you're going to enable comments and then that's it for options. And then you'll hit save Oop. and then you'll go back to settings and go to SEO. Again, you're going to change the title to the same subject line and caption. And that's it for the blog. It's a lot, but it, once you get used to it, it'll go a lot faster. The next thing that you want to do is we want to repost the blog to LinkedIn. Apparently LinkedIn loves articles. So that's the goal of using that social media site. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to my LinkedIn page. If you have to sign in, that's great. And then you're going to, you're going to have to go to my actual website. So you're going to have to go to website and find blog copy URL. Um, go to website, find blog copy URL. So you're going to go the way that you find the blogs is at the top of my website. You'll click here. You'll scroll down to here, click on the blog, and then you'll copy this blog and then you'll paste it here. Then it'll show up because you changed the picture. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the post. And I like what I think would be a good idea is even though they can obviously like read this, recopying the headline and the subject line here, and then posting this here, same thing. And then underneath the link, because again, we want them to click on the link. All of these hashtags can be viable and they'll be bolded because it's LinkedIn and that's their jam. So that is it. And then you'll hit post and then people will be able to see it on my page, which is right here. And it'll show up as the most recent post. So I hope that helps you. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you soon.